Hi friends, welcome to Vaibhava English Academy. Today, let us look at, let us analyze Cobalt Blue, the film as LGBTQ. Today, I will be showing you how you can compare a work of art with a theory. So, first of all, coming to the film uh, Cobalt Blue, uh, which uh, was premiered in uh, Netflix. Okay. So, this was earlier written as a novel and later on it was uh, uh, published or uh, it was directed into a movie. Cobalt Blue was published in Marathi in 2006 and translated into English in 2013. Cobalt Blue is the chronicle of a brother and sister who fall in love with a new tenant okay the author of cobalt blue is sachin kundalkar okay sachin kundalkar's screen adaptation of this acclaimed novel in hindi uh, is done in netflix it is directed by uh, himself sachin kundalkar okay and it has cast of pratik babar anjali shivraman neelay mahandel geetanjali kulkarni Now coming to the characters of this film, it has uh, a family, it has a family and uh, there is a sister or a nun who is a friend of the daughter and there is a paying guest. Only these members are shown, okay. So here let us look at the members of the Maharashtrian family who uh, as a part of their father's job they settle in Kochi, Kerala, okay. So the um, parents are uh, Mr. and Mrs. Dikshit. Okay, they have three children. The elder one is Asim. It, this that was played by Anant Vijay Joshi, and the second child is Tane. Tane Vidyadhar Dikshit. So Tane's role is played by Neelay Mahandel, and the daughter is uh, Anuja Dikshit. Uh, so Anuja's role is played by Anjali Shivram. Okay, so this is the family family of uh, five members. Okay, and sister. Sister's role, the nun's role is played by Purnima Indrajit. And now the sister is a friend of Anuja Dikshit who in one way or another influences her. Now the sister's character is uh, very interesting. Uh, she was somebody who was forced into nunhood. Therefore, she does not want uh, Anjali uh, to, uh, I mean Anuja to succumb into anything. Uh, she wants her best friend to follow what is good for her. Okay. So, sister is like a well-wisher and there is a paying guest. This paying guest is playing havoc with both Tane's life and his sister Anuja's life. So, that, this is the, uh, these are the characters, important characters of this film. Coming to the theme of the novel. Just like we know, when we look at the title, uh, we have a uh, understanding or we, ha we have a conception, right? So, uh, cobalt blue is the blue color and the color stands for soothing, peace, riches, stability, calmness and enlightenment. So uh, as uh, described, so we can see all these faces uh, in each of the characters lives in the screen as well as in the novel. Okay. Cobalt blue is about Anuja, Tanes, tomboyish sibling who prefers hockey to domestic chores. Kundalka's novel uh, is divided into uh, the brother's narration and sister's narration. Okay, Both are providing different perspectives about the same man who loved both of them. Okay, Cobalt Blue is alive when uh, attending to Tane's adolescent passion. Here we can see uh, Tane's character uh, who understands. If you talk in... Uh, LGBT terms, Tane comes out. Okay, uh, so his understanding of uh, uh, his sexuality is the main crux of this film. Neelay Mahandel's del delicate characterization of Tane and Pratik Babar's overt hunkiness create the film's most memorable moments, which has the vividness of primary colors and erotic flush of first love. Okay. So this is the theme. Uh, the, it, it is set in a very picturesque environment uh, with very artistic views but then the characters are facing so many tumultuous situations which carve them in its own way. 
coming to the plot the story is set in 1996 now that was a time when uh, same sex love and marriages were not legal okay the plot opens in a tourist free corner of fort kochi the college going pane writes poems and mildly flirts with his college professor okay the professor's part is pay, uh, played by neel bupalam the picture perfect setting emerald backwaters spice godowns that has been repurposed into art galleries and houses that look like luxurious homestays okay a pg arrives into the maharashtrian family family's house okay and cobalt blue was the pg's this paying guests a favorite color and uh, the pg he does not have a name he is just called the pg uh, he pretends love with both tane and anuja now anuja mistakenly thinks that the pg loves her alone and she elopes with him now anuja does so in order to avoid one unwanted marriage okay she is a sports oriented person anuja wants to play and uh, coach hockey team that is her only ambition but uh, the traditional maharashtrian families family is uh, pressurizing her to get into marriage now she wants to avoid that because of which which she uh, eloped with the paying guest thinking that the paying guest loves her alone but she uh, doesn't realize uh, that he she he, the paying guest loved tane also uh, towards the end of the film she comes to understand that and then she is able to reason why tane Uh, is uh, reacting very weirdly now coming to history of lgbtq in india same sex uh, relationship was punishable in india earlier okay uh, the people who uh, exposed their uh, sexuality were uh, condemned as outcasts from the society they were uh, we know numerous stories where uh, these people had to suffer like an outcast and they were treated like criminals and or they were uh, their uh, life was treated as uh, that of lunatics they were considered literally mad and they were given electric shocks during those period uh, the families uh, literally they uh, were not allowed to be part of the society so that was the scenario and uh, the same sex marriages uh, became legal in 2018 and uh, when you are speaking about lgbtq you must remember section 377 which says that if uh, a person can have any uh, sexuality unless and until it is harmful to others okay queer queer is a term describing people who have a non normative gender identity sexual orientation or sexual anatomy queer can include lesbians gay men bisexual people transgender people and a host of other identities since the term is sometimes used as a slur it has a negative connotation for some lgbt people nevertheless others have reclaimed it and feel comfortable using it to describe themselves okay when we are uh, uh, studying about lgbtq it is under it is very important to understand certain ter- terms so the first one was uh, queer coming to gender so what is gender when a child is born the society wants to know what is the gender is it a boy or a girl okay so that social constraint is called gender a socially constructed system of classification that ascribes qualities of femininity and masculinity to people just like i said uh, when a child is born the people the society looks okay it is a girl and uh, she should be brought up in this way it is a boy he should be brought up in this way girls like pink boys like blue so all these things those children does that newborn children are not saying but it is a society that enters these ideas into them the attributes of gender can change over time and differ between cultures terms for gender identity include woman man gender queer and agender coming to next term heteronormativity okay heteronormativity means uh, uh, the people should marry and how should the marriage take place a man should marry a woman or a woman should marry a man so that is heteronormativity 
a male and female uh, they are allowed to marry that is heteronormativity processes through which social institutions and policies reinforce the notion that there is only two possibilities of gender sex and sexual attraction male masculine attracted to woman and female or feminine okay so uh, the norm norm of the society what is normal for society there is heteronormativity there is a man and a woman male and female masculine feminine i hope it is understood coming to the term lgbtq okay this is also uh, sometimes in some places you can see uh, this particular term as lgbtq plus okay lgbtq is an abbreviation for lesbian gay bisexual transgender and queer or questioning sometimes instead of plus double q is used these terms are used to describe a person's sexual orientation or gender identity the same term with additions that is the next term lgbtqiaa abbreviation for lesbian gay bisexual transgender questioning intersex asexual and ally an umbrella term that is used to refer to the community as a whole often shortened to lgbt or lgbtq okay but not as a mean to exclude other identities now what is gay the adjective used to describe people whose en uh, enduring physical romantic or emotional attractions are to people of the same sex so usually uh, men and men man and man so that is a gay relationship sometimes lesbian is prefer uh, is a preferred term for women so a woman and a woman a woman's relationship with woman sexual relationship that is lesbian a man with man that is gay okay so in this novel cobalt blue tane and his english professor are gay in an intimate scene the professor talks about the electric shock given to them for his erotic behavior and uh, he further on says that uh, the character uh, says that the character was lonely for a very long time and he was always in search for similar people with similar attitude okay uh, the professor lives alone and he is lonely he is heartbroken and he always searches for a company but then uh, he tells tane that this is how things are and they would always be an outcast from society coming to the next term bisexual a person who has the capacity to uh, form enduring physical romantic or emotional attractions to those of the same gender or to those of another gender people may experience this attraction in different ways and degrees over their lifetime bisexual people need not have uh, specific sexual experiences to be bisexual they need not have uh, had any sexual uh, experiences to identify as bisexual now coming to this novel cobalt blue the pg has characteristics of bisexual person the pg develops sexual relationship with both tane and anuja tane feels that the pg loves him alone and anuja feels that pg loves her alone and therefore anuja elopes with the pg and tane feels shattered without his company and also because of loss of trust towards the end of the novel tane who was a poet now matures into a novelist because of his pain suffering and heartbreak okay so here pg is uh, referred to as a person who just loves himself and his ideas he does not depend on tane he does not love anuja he just loves himself and he uh, lives for himself he does not care about others coming to uh, the next term that is bi gender having two genders exhibiting cultural characteristics of ma male and female roles here we have tane uh, who is a student of literature and uh, he behaves like a girl while in sexual encounter okay the pg says that when tane kisses him he feels as if a girl has kissed him okay now coming to the next term that is coming out coming out means to disclose one's identity or gender identity that is to reveal to come out it uh, can mean telling others or it can refer to an internal process of coming to term with one's own identity 
we can say that it is internal enlightenment that is you are coming to know uh, what your body says or what you, what your body wants in some situations a heterosexual ally may feel the need to come out about his or her identity in the film cobalt blue it tells the story of tanes coming out the professor and pg had already realized themselves about themselves whereas tane after his relationship with the pg experiences coming out coming to the next term cross dresser cross dresser is an individual who dresses in clothing usually associated with a sex that differs from one's assigned at birth this is done for a variety of personal reasons cross dressing is not indicative of sexual orientation this term replaces uh, the sometimes uh, prejudicative term called a transvestite okay in the novel uh, cobalt blue anuja dikshit plays the role of cross dresser she wears a uh, men's dress and loves playing hockey even after her hurtful relationship with the pg she realizes that a career in hockey would be her apt choice for life any work involving lgbtq community plot lines or themes are said to be lgbtq literature here as we can see this uh, movie uh, cobalt blue uh, which is in netflix it has the characteristic features of lgbt community and uh, the characters especially the professor tane pg all have uh, lgbtq characteristics therefore we can say that uh, cobalt blue is an example of lgbtq literature thank you so much